Hi guys, it's been ages since I've done one of these chats where I've been walking uphill after a run. Um, however, um, I feel I have to be honest with you guys. My uh, since I've done my um, half marathon, my runs have been kind of non-existent at the moment. Um, I can't even complete a 5k, um, so I kind of know what's going on, but I kind of don't. Um, I have been having a bit of a shitty diet, um, but um, yeah, um, so I've basically, I think my body has said I've pushed myself too hard on the um, half marathon to the point where I'm having to reset my runs now. Um, I did do a 5k today, but it was more of a, um, a couple of kilometres run. Then I had to, because my back was hurting me, um, I had to give up and walk a little way. And I was going to quit. I was going to quit. Then I saw a jog and I thought, ah, I ain't going to quit. Let's run some more. So I ran a little bit further. And as I was about to quit again, I saw a lovely little couple in the village um, and I spoke to them and they said about the couch to 5k and how they were saying um, a shitty run was better than no run. Yes, okay. But also I'm doing my 5k's in an hour now. And I used to be able to do a 10k in an hour. So um, I'm going to put it down to diet, which my diet hasn't been good. I'm going to put it down to what's going on in the world, which really shouldn't be an excuse. And um, also, I've been struggling a lot just lately with everything that's going on in the world. Um, that I am absolutely... I think they're called lucid dreams, where you know you're dreaming, but you're actually awake in the dream. Um, you can see it all unfolding. So if you've been on my channel before, you know I'm very much into tarot card readings as well as running and fitness and stuff like that. So um, I've been having a lot of weird dreams. So later on when I get home, after I've done a probably a bit of meditation because I haven't been keeping up with meditation either I go home and I'm that busy now that I'm having to find time to get in my meditation because I feel absolutely exhausted nearly all the time now um so uh yeah uh, I'm trying to drink a little bit more water now and trying to get off the bad food so um We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but apart from that, um, yeah, I'll make a different video of the um, dreams I had because they were very vivid. Um, it was about my mum and dad. And as you know, <laughs> my mum and dad are not alive. Um, so um, so I'll um, bring the story up on that on another video, I think. And um, also... Later on, like I said, when I get home, I will do a tarot reading of what's actually going on with me and I will do it, put it on this video here and we'll find out what really is going on with me. So, uh, guys, stay safe. Uh, if you can put a mask on, put a mask on where you need to. If you can't, just try and be as safe as possible and keep a safe distance. Uh, please be kind to each other out there. Please don't be abusive. Uh, it's not the way in the world. And uh, come on, guys, let's get through this with love and understanding and peace and harmony. Catch you guys in a bit. Right, guys, um, I've realised as I was doing my run this morning, um, I haven't welcomed you to my channel. So welcome back to my channel. Um, as I say, as I said previous, um, I haven't done a run chat like that in a long time. Um, 
and I have been having some funky dreams at the moment and my runs haven't been going so well. So now I'm going to do my own self tarot reading on my channel to find out what is actually going on. So I'm going to use both decks. I'm going to use my original tarot deck and my um, animal spirit deck. And I think at the moment I'm just going to I think I'm just going to shuffle cards and say what is going on with my energy and the dreams I'm having at the moment. So keep saying that with me. What's going on with my energy, Bernadette's energy, and the funky dreams that I'm having at the moment and see what, see what cards... Oh, I've got a couple of cards here. Right, let's see if I get any more, right? Let me try and get some more cards out. That will want to come out, I think. So let me just um, pull these round. So I've got the Four of Pentacles. Judge, the Four Pentacles are um, reversed. Judgment upright and the eight of cups reverse. So yeah, at the moment I've got the four of pentacles, which is an earth sign. Judgment, which is purple. I'm not kind of sure about judgment. And um eight of cups, which is emotional. So the fourth of cups is someone like Taurus and I think it's Taurus Capricorn. Let me just find out here. So yeah. Um so the four of cups is an earth card, it's uh astrological signs is Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. And it's all to do with money and materials basically. Um, judgment, I have no clue, so I'm going to have to flick back through my book. Right, judgment. So judgment is the 20th card. Its astrological ruler is fire. Key number 31 and numeral value is 3. Um, and because that's upright, that means change, decisions and achievements. Um, I don't know what four of uh, four of pentacles was. Have I done four of pentacles? Four of pentacles was misleading, lost of loved one, and indecisiveness. And then we've got the eight of cups. Let's have a look at the eight of cups. Now I know this is to do with emotions. Again, it's the water sign. Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio in its emotions, like I said, and that's reversed, so it's recklessness and unrealistic expectations. So what I'm seeing here is a lot of material stuff going on with a lot of judgment, with a lot of emotions, so I'm not really getting this is kind of interesting what's going on here so if i read up the um uh four of pentacles and try and get an understanding about what's getting going on here so four of pentacles so this this card points to problems of an overachievement to materialize wealth and possessions uh, greed so um here it's about being over um having a problem of feeling overachieved uh mental um wealth um possession greed so maybe i'm feeling a little bit kind of hmm the fear of loss, well, I, know, I, know, I get that, the fear of loss, because at the moment um, I'm feeling lost at the moment. So whether it means that or whether it means a lost 
loss of my possessions or something like that. I don't know. Um, oh, here it says um, loss um, loss of power as well as wealth. It's saying here as well, the person that's feeling all this may need to change um, stuff up in their in their life. Um, surrounding cards will indicate um, particular areas this affects. So maybe that's when judgment's coming into play now. Because it says misleading, uh, fear of loss and inde indecisiveness. Which at the moment I am feeling a lot of. I don't know where I am, where I want to go or what I want to do. So that one's now starting to ring true, the four of pentacles. So judgment is upright and it's saying change decisions and achievements. Well, the four of pentacles had, um, I think it was um, achievements as well, weren't it? Overachievements. Maybe I'm overachieving on stuff and this, there's a lot of judgment that I'm feeling at the moment. I don't know. So the judgment card indicates a transitionary phase. So apparently I'm going into some transition at the moment. What transition? I have no idea, but I'm going into a transition. Apparently, some event is going to come to an abrupt ending. I'm going to be facing major decisions which will bring new beginnings and new phases. If so, then she will be able to make with a confident, it, with confidence um, that she chooses, what she chooses will be the right one. So basically, I have to make a decision and I should have the confidence to choose the right one. In this position, the person will be able to review, assess events with some satisfactory satisfaction of what she has accomplished. So even though I'm overachieving in the pentacles side i'm having to sort of like judge myself it looks like myself on what to choose to solve the problem and only i can do it and at the moment these two cards are playing quite closely together in my life at the moment so let's try and get the eight of um Eight of Cups up and see what's going on here. Because the Eight of Cups is upside down. So recklessness and unrealistic unre expectations. The person's recklessness is always a feature of them reversed card. There is a danger of, uh, basically there's a danger to this recklessness. Um, pursuing a very uncertain future and abandoning those things of value in life for what may be in fact a little more than a fantasy. This card serves as a warning against making major um, lifestyle changes at uh, this time. So basically there's no solution yet to the achievement that I should gain. So I'm still overachieving. It it's just seems to be coming round in a loop and a loop and a loop. And in that way, because this is emotional hard, I'm getting emotional about it at the moment, I think. Um, let's see whether I can get my um, animal spirit deck cards to say anything. Because there's not a solution to the problem. So a solution to the tarot problem. A solution. Oh, I've got the falcon um, upright, which I think is air. 
So, uh, air and earth and water I've got. Let's try and get another one out if I can. Oh, I've got a couple here. So, I've got buffalo and I've got moth, which is another air sign. So, um, let's try and figure this one out. Right, so we have the Vulcan upright, we have the Buffalo upright, and we have the Moth upright. Now I know the Falcon and the Moth are um, air signs, and I'm not sure, but I think the Buffalo might be... There's a storm brewing here, Judgment and Storm. So... Uh, Something's brewing. Something's brewing. What is brewing? Yeah, buffalo is an earth sign. So I've got two earth signs, two air signs, and a water sign. But there's firework. Uh, there's a a crack of thunder here, and with water, you've got water, earth, um, air, and judgment. So what's brewing? What storm is brewing here? I need to find that out. What storm is brewing? Because there's a storm. The air is um, creatures of the sky. Uh, the creatures of the sky element moves quickly and decisively. They are known to see more than others and need to lead to powerful indecisions uh, qualities air creatures love movement and mobility but the speed of which they move often leaves them ungrounded uh, several air cards indicate too much uh, movement and not on earth which I've only got two earth I've only got two airs and water some people describe this as living in their heads rather than in their bodies it's difficult to make big decisions to remember our great purpose when we lost our grounding. Well, this is now starting to come to light. I feel like I have kind of lost myself. So do whatever you can to reconnect to the physical realm. Slow walks in, the, uh, in nature will help get your feet back on the ground which um, I'm still doing my runs, I'm still meditating, I'm meditating outside whenever I can, so I'm still doing all that, but for some reason it's not working, and I think this storm has got something to do with that. So I'm now going to go into Earth. Creatures of the fields and forests. The suit of survival and instinct, the earth creature, represents our relationships with fear and habits. In general, the, creative, the creatures of this suit are grounded, independent and uh, supportive. However, since they are so drawn to routine, they often become stuck which is what's now happening to me. Um, it's stuck in their ways, which is what's now happening. Several Earth indi uh, cards indicate that uh, consciousness remind, uh, remains rooted to the material plans, or as referred to in yoga, the gross realm. This means particularly concerns of money, home, work and family are at the forefront of their mind, not leaving room for much else. Movement and exercise are especially helpful to count the stag stagnation and stuckness that can accompany excess earth element. The Nine of Pentacles was on about feeling lost. Judgment was feeling about achieving something. But then the Four of um, the Four of 
uh, pentacles for saying I'm, I'm overachieving and this is when I'm making reckless decisions and getting emotional. So I still want to know what this buffalo, it, uh, to me it just feels like a storm is brewing. It really does feel like a storm is brewing. So, um, right, so I'm going to try and go into Falcon first and see whether I can get some insight on what's going on. Here we are, Falcon. It says here, Guardian and um, trying to essential, essentially for a building. So I'm trying to rebuild something, but what am I trying to rebuild? The falcon is perhaps the most misunderstood creature of them all. Understandable. Uh, this bird balances our ecosystem and prevents the spread of disease. Oh, I like that. Does the dirty work and no one else wants to do it and cleans up all the mess. The falcon appears when there's a situation that needs to be um, purified. Ah, oh, guardians of the purified essential for building. I get it now. Or brought back into balance, which I do need to be brought back into balance. How? I don't know. Uh, remember the value is greatly undervalued what you thought was a mistake or a tragedy is a blessing in disguise so when in balance clarif clarifications uh, reveals wisdom a balance drama and aggressiveness which i have been experiencing i have been getting a little bit antsy um when bringing it into balance uh clean your space sage hmm that's really interesting because i'm on holiday now and i'm trying to i mean it was full moon so i've cleansed all the crystals i'm trying to heal myself which is probably cleaning myself and they say sage so maybe I should pop to the crystal shop and get myself some sage and just smudge 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 around very interesting so it's basically saying I need to cleanse myself I need to strip myself clean basically um, so maybe this is um, stop overachieving think about myself and my health and my well-being because and then you can achieve stuff on a more healthier level with judgment playing in but it will be an emotional roller coaster from the eights i want to know what this buffalo is though so i'm going to read the buffalo next buffalo there we go and I know as I edit this, I'll turn around and go, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. Because at the moment, it kind of is, some parts of it is making sense and some parts are not making sense. So, grounded yet heavily practical, yet spiritual. Okay. Hovers of the mighty buffalo are grounding in earth yet its heart and mind rises towards the heavens which is what i'm feeling like i'm sort of like i feel like i'm being pulled you know buffalo sees challenges hardships or a bump in the road as it is as an opportunity of upliftment. The buffalo does not fear death, illness or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look over the road ahead, trusting every turn. May we all experience this free challenging bliss. 
from time to time and may we all allow this card to remind us that life is precious gift i just think i'm starting to get where the falcon and the buffalo are coming in now uh, they're trying to say stick with and i'm going back to the judgment here stick with trying to achieve stuff but it's going to take time and it's going to take emotion so yeah at the moment i'm probably overachieving so what i need to do is bring myself back into alignment to achieve something i want to achieve again but it's going to be an emotional ride so i'm going to go to a moth now and like i said um I will do another film about the weird funky dreams I'm having and then probably put some of this film um, with because I've just downloaded a dream app thing and put them all together and combined it all and see what the outcome is because I think this is an ongoing reading to be honest with other things that I need to clarify so with the moth, it's um, impulsive, hasty and wishful. Okay, moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side, which I have been thinking of. Um, moth energy is at play when we're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. Uh, this can lead to unfinished projects, uh, disappointment uh, or burnt out, which I have been feeling burnt out just recently. I have been feeling like I've, I have been taking too much on. And maybe this is what the pendants is trying to um, tell me. Um, um, I'm doing too much. Let, let just, you know. It's helpful to remain moth personalities that life is complex no matter the illusion no one is expected from the trials and tribulations of this great journey practice seeing life as an infinitive mystery rather than a wishing rather than wishing it was easy or difficult When in balance, enthusiastic and whimsical. When out of balance, idolising others, jittery. Bringing into balance, finishing a project. So maybe I haven't got a project finished yet. So I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit... There's, there's something here. I'm trying to finish something. What am I trying to finish, though? This reading could go on for a long time, but I'm going to finish it here purely because um, I'm going to read up on some of my um, dream stuff and see whether this is connecting because... I've got a feeling this is connected into my dreams as well. So, um, but I know I've, I'm overachieving. I've got to bring myself back to clarity to achieve better things instead of overachieving uh, in a way that's going to heal me, but it's going to be emotional. Um, I'm probably going to be emotionally overwhelmed um, to then bring myself up to vibrations again. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. And if there's any tarot card readers out there that know the cards better than what I do, because I am learning, I'm not professional. I'm trying to learn tarot, my original tarot decks at the moment, and I'm trying to learn the cards as well. So, um, 
I'd like some advice if you can give it to me. So basically, if you like this film, if you give it a thumbs up for me, um, hit the subscribe button down below and uh, click the notification bell on all I should upload on every Saturday at about 7am. I, I am thinking about changing up YouTube, um, so um, the times and stuff. So um, if you want to tell me what time's better for you, I can try and change it up again. Maybe that's what's going on about my YouTube. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I hope you can fathom out this little mess that I've kind of faddled myself in. And, yeah, I'll see you probably in a week's time with an update, hopefully. And hopefully I won't be so um, a little messed up in the mind. See you later, guys.